What is going on everyone, how are we all doing and welcome to this season's career mode that we're going to be playing through and of course we are back, who are we going to be going with, you would have seen it in the title, we're actually going with Southend United, we did a career with them last season just for about the second half of the season and I thought we may as well give it another go, we're going to try and get a lot further this time, aim for Europe, aim for the Premiership and basically just see all together where we can take them. If you're a regular to the channel or you're new, make sure you hit a like on this video. I'd really appreciate it. Also, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and videos coming up in the future. As you guys may or may not know, on career mode, there is a new difficulty this season. And it is ultimate. You would have seen it before on ultimate team, but it has finally been brought to career mode. I've previously played on legendary quite a lot. And I think I am actually going to start on that. If it ends up being too easy, of course, we now have the option and the position to move up to ultimate. So if you do think I need to go up a difficulty, just let me know in the comments down below. With all of that out of the way, we can finally have a look at our preseason tournament invites. Of course, we're gonna accept that because it's an opportunity to get a little bit more money for the season ahead. And like always, I'm just gonna go for the one which offers the most amount of money. We can get a potential 1.8 million from this. We start off with our emails. First of all, we have a run over of the European International Cup, which we are entering, transfer market information, visions which i will take a look at in just a second and also our scout report so we will jump straight through to the visions our youth development is low we can grow the youth academy and bring one player up and improve by at least five overall i think we need to bring him up this season as well so i can do that brand exposure is relatively low we should be able to do that we're obviously not in europe so that does not matter at all they want us to fight for promotion, which I do think is definitely achievable. Hopefully with our team, we'll take a look at that in just a second and reach the round of 32 in the FA Cup. Finally, we need to keep salary growth under 20%. That may be quite difficult if we do sign a few players, but of course, we're going to give it our best shot. Looking at our team, it isn't actually that bad. I thought the ratings might be a little bit worse, but it has actually surprised me. They're all pretty decent. We probably will need a little bit of tweaking here and there. And I'm actually going to change the formation altogether. I'm probably going to move towards a 4-3-3. So if you give me a second, I will mix it around and then we'll see what we need to do regarding transfers. This is the team that we have gone for. Well, the formation we've gone for. And the main thing is, well, it's a 4-3-3. And we have a defensive player. I really do want that one kind of anchor player to just sit there the whole entire time for this team. Protect the back four and let everyone else ahead do their job. So that's what we're going to go for. In terms of players that we need, maybe a few more options up top, even out wide. And probably mainly another holding midfield, which is just a, a higher rating altogether. And at least one more centre back. All right, so I have got my list. I had made a list a while back and I finally had them all to my transfer hub. But the question is, who are we going to make a move for? There's a lot of guys here. They are all very, very young. I think the oldest one is probably Badia Shilo, who is 20. Everyone else is below that. So for this, it's probably going to be a lot of probably potential loan moves. I'm tempted on Hudson, Adoye, Adley as well. Timothy Weyer, he could be an attractive offer. If we could get Gwen Doozy, that would be fantastic. However, it's probably unlikely seeing as he is in real life at least, been playing in the Arsenal first team. And Ketia is definitely an option. Smith Road too. However, he is a little bit low in rating, maybe around about 62. And Ricky Puig, or Puig, however we're going to say that. I think he's around about 64, but obviously he has the potential to improve over time. I'm going to approach a few, and you guys probably will see that. If you have any other suggestions, make sure you let me know down in the comment section, as always. We're going in on a move for Matteo Guendouzi. I really don't know what to expect. I don't even know what his wages are, but we'll find out in all good time. All right, so we are actually already at the end of the negotiations and something fantastic has happened. Matteo Guendouzi, we've actually got a two-year loan deal on the table for him. 5,700 in wages per week for two years as well. And I think he's late 60 rated, maybe about 67, 68. I think that's a great deal. So I'm actually going to take that and that is one midfielder down. Next up, we're going for Callum hudson Odoi, another absolute superstar of a youngster. Whether we're actually going to be able to get him is another thing. But again, give me a few minutes and I'll let you know. Again, that was another one and it kind of went on before I could cut back to you guys. They wanted 55% on wages on a one-year loan deal. However, I came back to them and said I only want to do 45%. They actually did agree to that, so I'm not sure exactly how much that means I'm paying. I think around maybe five, 6000 but again, that is another really good youngster that is going to be on the way into the club. Yes, it is only a year-long loan, so we will be losing him at the end of the season, but it's another option as well, and I believe he's like outstandingly quick. So 
definitely good for our counter-attacking potential. The next move we're making, more of an unknown youngster that you guys probably won't know about, Bubakar Kamara, plays for Marseille. He is a centre-back, he's only about 18. I'm actually going to try and buy him, but I don't really know what we're going to be able to get out of this one. It's going to be a tricky one. Okay, like I said, I wasn't expecting too much. I realized I didn't really actually have too much money to be able to approach him either. So because of that, they kind of rejected us pretty much straight up. And that one is just completely gone. I did one more negotiation behind closed doors and I've actually gone for one Miranda. I said I needed a centre back. I thought he was just a left back, but it actually turns out he can play centre back as well. We've got him in on a one year loan deal. He has a release clause of around 2.8 million but I didn't want to meet that mainly because I don't have the funds myself. So obviously it wasn't a possibility and they would have only taken that. It said that on the message. So because of that, it didn't happen. But as long as all those guys agree, we should have a few players coming in and our team should be considerably stronger, really. We really don't seem to have been blessed with players with high potential this year because Drew Yearwood is actually the only player altogether that has high potential in the whole entire team. So because of that, I'm purely just going to concentrate on him. He's only 18 he has a really bright future, so I'm just going to go ahead and simulate this and really see how high we can get him this season. Alright, we've kind of had a triple header of bad news. None of those players want to join our club. Guendouzi, hudson Adoy, or Miranda, they've all rejected the proposal, so I guess it's back to the drawing board for us. Off the back of that, we've done another three negotiations. This time, Ricky Puig, I don't think he's the highest player of all time to come from Barcelona, but I think he has a potential. He's around a 64, 65, I believe. Eddie Nketiah has a lot of pace up front, a very good striker, and William Gwebbles, I think that's what we're going to say. He's only 16 from Monaco. He's extremely highly rated. All of these guys are on two-year loan deals if we can get them. So again, let's wait a couple of days and see what we can get. Again, we just have not had any luck at all. All three of these guys have rejected us. So at the moment, I'm kind of a little bit stuck on who we should move for. I might actually just leave it and wait till next episode and see what you guys have got for me. Okay, we're back here again. Seems to be a very familiar site today, but we have gone for Rian Ryan Brewster from Liverpool. Not sure exactly of his ability. I just know he has a lot of potential. And also Eddie and Ketty. You're probably thinking, where is he on that list? Well, we've actually signed him. Turns out he only had one year left on his contract, so I thought we may as well take advantage of that. Put in a bid, he cost about half a million. He's not exactly great in terms of rating. I think he's around a 62, which we can see there. However, the potential is wild with this kid. It's going to be exciting. Him and Yearwood are going to lead this team forward throughout the years, hopefully at least. So, that is kind of that. We'll see what else we can get. If we can get Ryan Bruce in the team as well, that is very promising. But apart from that, at the moment, we're kind of a little bit stuck. Like I said... Let me know who you want to see me sign down below and who will actually join us because at the moment, everyone just loves to turn us down. Bruce has turned us down. Gwebbles has turned us down as well. So looks like at the moment, ML Smith Rowe is the only man that's actually going to be coming into this club in this whole window. We're here. It's our first game of the whole entire career mode and I'm actually going to be skipping it. I thought, you know, we'll play some later on. We may play the remainder of these games in this competition if we have to, but what is going to happen? We'll skip around half the time. And we have actually taken the lead. Ben Coke with a nice goal. We shall skip. And 3-1. Michael Cartley with the double. Smith Rowe, Yearwood both got on. So good to get a bit of playing time. Seeing as we did so well in the first match when simulating, I'm actually going to simulate this second one as well. Gidinia. I think that's where they are or who they are. I don't know where they're from. But it's already won all. And again, we shall skip very shortly. Hopefully we can come out with the win. And do we? No, we don't. One all. Still, though, following up from that first victory, we're in a decent position in the group. Now that Smith Rowe has joined the club, and he actually has potential as well. Of course, he's only 18. I thought, you know, we'll give it a go. We'll put a lot of training onto him. We need to improve him quite a lot, seeing as he is only at 62. Started off well there, and he is already at 63, so it's very promising. Could potentially have a bit of a problem after this match. As you can see, we're in second in the group behind Paris. That is who we're playing now. And I think if results don't go our way, we might not actually get through into the next round of this competition. But I'm just going to kind of go lucky dip, have some faith in my boys. 
skip it relatively soon as well and just hope for the best that's all i can really do i'll skip this time when we get to the 30th minute i don't know if you can see it behind the webcam but we're already in the 20th we are one nil down I don't know what the score of the other game is, and we drew, which will actually be enough to take us through into the semis. Seeing as we have basically got two more games potentially in this preseason tournament, I thought I might as well have a go at playing this one and potentially the next one if we make it through to the final. We want to get that extra bit of money, so we are going to go for it. Dimitriou is back from an injury, but he said he's not feeling up to it, so because of that, Bawamano is going to start. And I don't know if we should replace Dimitriou on the bench, probably. We'll replace him with Hendry. Kitely is looking decent out there. Everybody else is kind of the same. I will actually start Drew Yearwood. He can play in a more attacking role and Haim can move back. Smith Rowe will probably get subbed on later on. Same with Robinson, but we're up against Clermont. We're about to play the semi-final. We're technically away from home, even though I think it's a neutral ground. Five minute half. We're on legendary. Let's play our first ever game of this career. Let's go. There we go, there we go. Back to Kitely. Not blessed with pace. We do have people running in, though, with a free header. And it was a poor header at that. Through that gap. Maybe with a 1-2. Through that gap with the shot with Mantum. Oh, both posts in. The first goal of the career mode. And what a goal, too, off both posts. Lovely stuff. I will take it. All right, Buomino, decent enough pace to hopefully close this out. And Oxley's there. Okay. He definitely took that out of his hands. Good news, Emil Smith-Rowe is on the pitch for his first game. Will he be able to do anything? I don't know. As that was a shocking header again. It's just going to be interesting to see what he can do here. He's fresh, so he's got stamina and speed. And he can keep that in, which is a great start already. He's already in behind the defence. Maybe we can bring it through there like that. And the shot wasn't great. Cox through there to Smith Rowe again. It's all happening with him now. Is that a penalty? Oh, it is. Since he's come on, he has been electric. Time for Simon Cox. What can we do? The first penalty of our year. And it's a goal. 2-0. Surely it's got to secure the victory as well. And it looks like we're on our way to the final. Okay, out to Buomino. And that is that. First game down that we've actually played. 2-0 victory, and Smith Rowe had a great impact, so he may actually get a start in the next game, which is the final, and it's going to be coming up basically straight away. A couple of our players should be on the way back in from suspensions, injuries, all those types of things, but we are making a couple of changes for the game ahead. I would be starting Yearwood. He played very well last time out, like incredibly well, in fact. Probably our best player in the midfield, but he's a little bit low on fitness, so we'll probably end up subbing him on. Theo Robinson's coming in up top as well. A little bit more pace than Simon Cox, and he's a little bit low on stamina too. Smith Rowe had a great impact when he came on, so because of that, he's going to get a start, and Kitely fills the void in central midfield. That's our team. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the opposition that we've got, but it's the final. It's a chance to get a lot of money as well, so hopefully we can go back and maybe get a couple more players that we need to, because as you can see, centre-back isn't looking great right now. Anyway, though, let's go. Let's win this trophy. Oh, that was a really good pass to start off already. And then again, let's try not to let him turn. Off the bar and off the bar again. And we're losing. Okay. 1-0. We've got a game on our hands. Good work by Dimitriou. Come on, let's get a toe to that. And again, though, straight back on us. Oh, that was a really good ball. That went in. It's 2-0. Oh, my. Ah, uh, 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 I don't even know. Three. Okay, I see the run from Theo Robinson, and of course it goes in the middle of both my players. Hyam, who is that? Dimitriou, McLaughlin's out super wide with the shot, and it was a goal. Okay, 3-1. The comeback... It's just about on. Just. Oh, what was that? That's not a foul. Nope. Somehow he's still on the ball. There we go. There we go. There we go. 
Someone make the run, please. Smith Rowe with the shot. Oh, it's 3 2. Okay, the game is wide open now. Let's pick up the ball. Come on. Pick up the ball. No. Next highlight. There we go, Cox. Smith Rowe again. Oh. That is not the time for the keeper to move. It's all over. Ah, that's the end. Ah. Oh. We gave it a good shot. It's just not meant to be. Oh, what a lovely bit of play through the middle. Robinson and off the bar. Sums up our day. And that is the end of our cup run. We made it to the final. We lost. Mm, I don't really know what to take from that. We still need probably a bit more pace up top. Maybe a better passer in midfield. Yearwood looks like a decent player. Smith Rowe looks decent as well. It's just a little bit more that I think needs to be done to this team. There's our confirmation. We did lose. I still don't know how to pronounce that team, but it doesn't matter. We can go past that. We'll just have a quick look. I think we should have had at least, I don't know, a million maybe? A million more pounds of money. We'll look on the emails. We've got seven, and then we shall be ending this first episode. We've got one guy who's out for a decent amount of time. Half a million extra. I think that's because we went to the final my players appreciate me, which is always good to see. Our manager rating is 80. Hasn't changed anything this episode. And we've got 2.67 million budget, which is actually a decent amount. We are going to leave it here for today. I hope you did all enjoy. If you're new to the channel, new to this series, make sure you drop a like on it as well. We want to try and hit a decent amount. Let's say, let's just say like 20. Over the course of the year, we'll try and hit 20 likes. That'll be very, very good. So make sure you hit that now. Subscribe as well if you aren't already and you're new around here. You want to see more stuff like this. There's going to be lots of stuff coming out on the channel soon enough. Next episode will be out in, I don't know, three days? Two or three days. You should be expecting the next episode on this channel. So stay tuned for that. Once again, though, thank you all very much for watching. Tell me who you want to see me sign in the comment section down below. And I will see you all on the next video.